Hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Starcom. Uh, it's been a little bit since uh since the last episode. Uh, and then uh, so I've uh kind of made a a, a, a Trek inspired ship. Uh, it, I, I kind of started it. Uh, I was trying to make something a little round, and I kind of ran out of out of things that I needed. Um, but I tried to make something that you know, kind of you know with a softer and uh. You know, it 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 went a little pear shaped. Uh, I I need I think I need uh, more. Uh, I need more more parts. Uh, I I need more resources. Uh, I I have so many resources. I have uh trying to get specific things. Uh, you know, I have four thousand aluminum. You know, almost you know, eighteen hundred. You know, almost two thousand. Like I, I have a lot of resources, but little things like uh, iridium, which you need for armor plating. I, I'm basically, I don't. All of it's in the ship. Um, neutronium, uh, charlite. You know, things like that. Uh, I there, there's a lot. Um, I did go uh, pure. Oh, look at that. So, uh, tell me left to comment. Uh, if you hit R, it rotates your uh, secondary weapons. Um, if you hold down R, or hold down right click, uh, then it will do that for you. The uh, as you can tell, the uh, uh, the old lasers are doing well there. Um, I did kind of cheese it a little bit and completely surrounded. Uh, my lasers are kind of all inside of here, uh, with very heavy deflectors on the front, and uh, eventually I'll put very heavy deflectors on the side, uh, trying to keep those deflector or the the laser basically where they can they can work. Um, and it, it, it they they do work. <laughs> they uh they are they are a bit of a They, they do get stronger. Um, I, I'm still not 100% sure that I like uh, the way the... Um, I, I'm still not sure I, I'm really super happy with the way the lasers are uh, going and are the... Like, the amount of power they feel. Um, I, I, I don't know. I... I I understand the reason they're built the way they are, and they kind of come on one at a time. And uh, I keep I keep hitting my battle stations for some reason this morning. Uh, great difficulty, plus it landed through the blinding sandstorm. Very kind of did this. Got a bunch more astro science now. Uh, oh, 93. Half fairy collection, pimples and stupus. Altar of the God. Oh. All right. Complete 100 anomaly surveys. Got a new other uh, thing there. Uh, so it, it it definitely does well. Every once in a while, you run into something that's heavily armored, um, and it, it takes a while to get through it. Uh, but I have like eight lasers, and eventually, eventually they all get turned on, and it and it goes badly for whatever you're pointing at. Um, so maybe the problem is, is I can't, I, I would like to be able to set my lasers to primary, like use them as my primary weapon and then add like missiles, uh, would be great. Um, but unfortunately the way the game works is, uh, your plasma is your primary weapon always. And then, um, uh, Whatever your missiles or, or your lasers or um are are your, your secondary. I think if you do the the standard fire or the uh the the fixed cannons, I think they may count as primary. So as you can see, yeah, they uh, 
and these these are fairly small ships. Uh, and, and oh yeah, uh, we have all Mark II uh, uh, thrusters in the back. It is a uh, it is it is a good amount of fun. Did did they just miraculously decide they don't want to fight with us anymore? I think they just decided that they're like, no, we're done fight with you. You're or are these the the other guy? Let's talk to one of them. Come here, come here. Who are you? Oh, these are Nimmons. Water sleeper mines. Peace for bombs that are covered in reinforced shell. Okay, yeah, we, we'll we're gonna run into those up there in a minute. All right, so these are Nimmin. So the, the Nimmin and the the Tyrant are uh, running into each other down here. Uh, so we do that. We have all Mark II uh, reactors, all Mark II batteries. All this is is so we have, we have so much power generation on this ship. It's not even funny. Like I I don't even need this much. Um, I don't even think my uh. Uh, I don't even think I, I I can't even fire my lasers on you know, but I, I'll have to <laughs> nine hundred energy. Oh my lord! Oh, this thing is insane. Uh, and I, and I stuck my cockpit at the very front. I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have moved that thing back a little ways. <laughs> but uh, we are we are taking a uh. <laughs> If we are taking a, a charge approach to this battle. Um, so we'll go through here uh, and kind of complete our work on the uh, battle a little bit. The other thing I wish, uh, like, because... Oh, you're not even going to... Um, I wish uh, they would they would target things. Um, if if I could hold it down and it would it would go through and and target mines, uh, like it would be nice if it at least target the mines. Um, but with it not targeting, uh, I have to I have to hover over the mines, so I have to basically mark them for it to be triggered on them. Same thing with the debris. I do have decent range on stuff. Oh, okay. If I target something that's outside of the range, oh no, it doesn't do it. I thought I thought it was it was starting to warm up, uh, but it, it has to be in range for it to start firing and warm up. Oh. So this is a little slow going. This guy's not having a good day up here. Investigate the wreck. A lot of battle damage. Random command picture ship have been stripped away or generally destroyed by the crew prior to abandoning it. Oh, really going to be destroyed now. It takes it takes a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a uh, <laughs> power to destroy those mines. Nope.
Yeah, but yeah, so with with the kind of the phaser noise that the uh, the lasers make, I uh, I wanted to go with more more Trek inspired, especially with them being blue. Okay, we're not gonna shoot that. Investigate another one. Take my battle damage right opponents. Oh, look at that. Been stripped away again. Be really stripped away in a second. So basically, uh, it's a large build. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I'm too close. Like sometimes it just doesn't fire. Weird. Uh, I'll shift away again. I oh, said Nimmin rig it. I can't do anything with that one. It's blue. Oh, these are blue, so I can't. I can't even fire at them. There's probably a button I can press it that will force it to fire. Check it. I wonder if. Uh... Yeah, so it's since it's a dead ship, it won't fire at it. What I was doing is I'm basically putting. It would be nice if the the uh, the mines were at least set as a uh, once they they activate it if they were at least possible. So that the, the lasers would fire at them. Ooh, sorry. Nope. Command have uh, more or less intact, apart from large black holes, because they have to bridge to space. Several other crew punctured in spacesuits. Oh, ship's logs have been purged. Clever fell safe. One crew command apparently kept it personal. So, kept that's written in his personal journal. Return from the pill, our system, so close to the home world, not able to see my fear. Disappointing. All right. Poetry is bad. Okay, destroy this bad boy. So that way we don't we don't try to come visit it later. So yeah, completely just as hard as we can, and it just it doesn't even care. Like this thing produces so much energy, they could come down to like two two points. It was great. Um. So yeah. So obviously these guys are at war. Uh, they they are generally not happy with each other. Uh, putting minefields in, uh, not a good plan either. So that's another blue guy there. No. I just got tore a path through the minefield. I'm just holding down the right click uh, and then just kind of looking for stuff that's going to get close and then just covering it. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah. 
It may have been smart to not go as fast through there, but you know. Dibrillium. And Dibrillium, I need for lasers, so. Carrier ship crashed quite recently. Uh, so recently, no one has a chance to recover the pilot. Survive long enough to destroy the techno valuable components before uh, perishing to his injury. Bipedal hundreds. Okay. Original been defense, but okay. Easy enough. Survey complete. All right, where are we supposed to be going next? Oh, let's go. Let's go there. So uh, obviously, uh, we're, we're kind of going through clearing this stuff out, uh, kind of pushing to the end of the story here. Uh, I know in previous versions, the end of the story pretty much ended here um, at the the end of this, uh, but we will find out if there's anything beyond uh, because we're going to push through it, uh, and then. Um, there was quite a lot of stuff that that's been added before this, so that in and of itself is really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm, like I said, I love this game. Uh, I, I'm right now playing several different games, uh, making videos for several different ones, and all of my just, just loving. It. They're so, so good. And, and the one thing is, though, all the games I'm playing, uh, oh wait, they're all indie games. Go figure, right? Uh, indie games are... Oh God, I love indie games so much. Uh, you just get... The, these these small small developers... Like, this is this is a single developer. Uh, as far as I know. I, I, I could be wrong. Uh, but from my understanding, this is a single person building this game. Um, like, it, it's just, just amazing uh, that we have the tools and the power and stuff like that nowadays that a single person can build a game like this. Um, and uh, it, it just, oh, it, it, it's awesome. I, I, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, some, of, some of the indie games that have come out that, that I've been fortunate enough to find. There's a lot of blue dudes over here. Be happy that you're on, you're on my team, blue dudes. That's all I'm going to say. All I'm gonna say, <laughs> uh, y'all chose the right side. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure. This may be this may be all the exploration that I can do up here. We'll see. No, they're turning around. They're getting out of the way because they're smart. Like their ships are the size of my command, my uh, man deck. Double core, it's like a double rainbow, only it's a core. Um, it looks like why, why, why is that one weird? Oh, that's my home base. Okay, that's why. Um, looks like we're kind of, go check on our Dibrillium real quick, see if we can get some more of that, more lasers. Um, so I, I, I've kind of, I've kind of delved down the lasers, they're growing on me, um, and when I remove all of the, uh, because I can still add like pin uh, uh, plasmas onto this thing. Uh, but the problem is, is if I have plasmas and I have the option to use them, I'm going to go back to them. Uh, really, in this game, for, for me anyway, I, the best way to kind of to test a weapon is to only have that weapon. Uh, the only, the only uh, one that I've, Probably is not a good plan to do that with is the missiles, uh, and that's because the reload on the missiles is so long. Uh, just because you know you, you fire your missiles and then uh, you have to wait for them to come back, uh, and especially when if you fire all your missiles at once. Uh, but we'll make another missile boat. Uh, so at, at some point. Um, once, once I kind of get everything open, uh, 
I'll uh, I'll probably go in and just add a bunch of uh, research points to the game. And uh, once I do that, we'll kind of we'll kind of go with that. Um, I originally I was thinking about making uh, lasers as the the beginning weapon. Uh, I don't I don't know. And then so they will they will shoot at missiles, but they're not. It takes them a while to, to lock onto them. So you see it 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 fired a little bit in there. And I still haven't even used my shields this, today. <laughs> They got they got us a little fire because I have no armor on the back of the ship. Uh, these are all just just position thrusters so we can spin around faster. Because I I put I wanted to put something back there to make it where it uh uh look looks flat uh, because if not it's all jagged. Uh, so I just put thrusters back there because I ran out of armor. Uh, if I had more armor, I would have done that. Now the same thing here is I doubt. Like this, this it's not gonna target any of these things. Yeah. Like honestly, if this thing auto targeted like debris and and like uh like asteroids with the the lasers, oh, it would be it, it would be good and bad, right? Uh, because. If you're, if I'm in a fight and I have uh, ships around me, and you know it's targeting an asteroid, I, I would, I would probably cuss it. Um, I, I, I definitely wouldn't be happy about it doing that. Uh, but at the same time, like, can you imagine just going into this asteroid field up here and just being able to fly through and just destroy everything in your path and just. Just hold down right click and just fly through it. That'd be great. It'd be it would be, it would be my mining dream. All right, uh, we'll run back to the base real quick. See if there's anything new there, um, and maybe uh, if that's not doesn't work. We'll just go over to the the tyrants uh, and uh, have a chat with them. We'll blow up some more of them. Uh, and just beat them into submission until they uh, they submit. And it may be what we need to do is to go do that. So, uh, alter to the bone gods. Uh, shows the internal structure of the object complex. Set of gears. Green machine. Possible a tuning for design of certain radio frequencies. Layered composite. Seem to be a fragment of Karen armor, uh, fairly high tensile strength, but also designed to allow certain radio frequencies to penetrate. A pure connector. Nimmin device that allows transfer of legacy systems to more recent technologies. All right. Uh, we'll put more points into here. We're just we're just at the point now where we're just we're just putting points into whatever their highest skill is and just seeing how far we can go. Um, it uh, it seems to be working well for us so far. But yeah, so they the uh, you can at least get more ranks with them because I'm pretty sure we've made more ranks with them now than we have in the past. Going back to the base. See if there's anything good there. Oh, I meant to check the uh, the law or the missions. Uh, Imperial Flora, Star Landscape abilities. Uh, found a general Star Cross who. Uh, so someplace near their home world. Uh, Tomb of the. Oops. All right, so this is towards the the Nimmin, uh, the Karen homeworld or Nimmin, yeah, 
So the Nimmin was trying to go back home. We need to find uh not not a good plan, my friend. <laughs> I'll just set you on fire and leave you. All right. Run back to the base real quick, see if there's anything fun here. And then every once in a while when I come in here, it's weird that we went straight to here. Uh, nothing new there. Nothing new there. Nothing new on the bottom. Uh, I don't think there's that. I think I've already had that. Engine best focusing. What's, what's assisted recovery? Oh, that's just, that helps build them dull. That helps build them too. Uh, we already have all that stuff. We already had all that. Pain analysis we don't have yet. Fixed guns. So I don't see anything new. I don't know why we popped in here. I feel like I can look at the video and see where we actually popped in at. Uh, that's in. We can't find any skill. Can't find any of that stuff. And we got two down here that are that are still still blank. Um, every once in a while when you come back in here, though, Lieutenant Milton, you'll be like, hey, here's a bunch of free stuff. Um, that's from uh, the factory we turned back on, which is, which is helpful. Uh, so it looks like, for the most part, we are just dealing with these two yahoos. We need to go back and find the Kieran. I think the Kieran homeworld is in one of these two areas over here, or in the bottom one. So we basically just need to go back over here and uh, pick their teeth in enough for them to convince that it's a bad plan to, to fight with us. So that's a, a Nimmin base now. I wonder if we just push them back enough that they uh, they just give up. Do I have any exclamation points in here? Oh, I do. I have exclamation points. It's not always funny now with the the way that it works. It it calculates the exact distance to travel, and it's like, oh, it's fresh. If I go here and go to the other side, that case is a little too far. I'm gonna go through the other way. So we'll go up and check the uranium mine again. That will probably give us more uranium. Uh, uranium, you need to build uh, missiles, uh, but I, I didn't. You basically use uranium to build. Well, it may have changed. Uh, used to, you would build every missile took uranium. Um, so it, it was very cost prohibitive. Uh, you have to basically be able to get large amounts of uranium uh to be able to fire missiles unless you only have like a couple if you only had like a couple of missiles but i don't do anything with just a couple uh if i'm gonna build a missile boat i'm gonna build a missile boat uh no one appears to have returned the mines to our life visit so we'll try to collect some more uranium we get six more uranium currently uh returning to station or advancement uh so basically if I wanted to, I could go back to the station, come back here, go back to the station, come back here, maybe. Um, nope, I, I didn't mean to do that again. Uh, so that one's not super helpful. Uh, this stuff up here is all, I don't have anything. So basically what I'll do, uh, if I'm trying to figure out someplace new to go or new to, to kind of to see, uh, I'll just kind of come in fairly high like this. And look and see if I have any uh, uh, any marks where uh, I have exclamation mark, meaning that I haven't finished it. Like right there's one. That's that's just a yellow fog, but uh, 
I'll just do that and kind of go around uh, and let it kind of see uh, what, what I'm missing. Uh, I'll go back and visit things like that. Like the yellow fog ones, you go do those multiple times. So every time you do it, it just kind of gives you resources. Uh, so not the resources I'm getting from that stuff, probably not super useful. Uh, the uranium, uh, if I was using the... Uh, The, the nuclear missiles may be slightly helpful, but uh, because I'm not using missiles right now, uh, it's not like I'm just collecting it. Uh, it I, but you could sell it, uh, trade it for other stuff. Uh, so if you were looking for more dibrillium, or if you're looking for more, you know, of a specific thing to add more, more, more stuff, uh, you could do that. You don't want to shoot at me, I promise you. Promise you, my friend, you do not want to shoot at me. You, it, nothing but, but sadness awaits. <laughs> it, it's amazing how we go from this little bitty ship that we're afraid of, pretty much running into everything, to now we're like just daring things to shoot at. Us. Please, please shoot at me. Oh, so. But yeah, the the lasers are growing on me. Uh, but like I said, it, it's I'm ha I've had to go to only using lasers. Um, and so uh, the one thing I would probably request is um, I I would like to make a few changes to the lasers to make them a lot more useful. Uh, I would like to either be able and I don't I don't know if this if any of this stuff is even possible. Um, but I would like to be able to make, maybe designate a couple of lasers as, uh, like point defense. Uh, that would be amazing. Uh, especially to have them just, just shoot late or shoot stuff out of the, uh, like the sky. Cause even if I had, if I could, if I could designate a couple as point defense and they would shoot at missiles, mines, uh, and, uh, uh, like asteroids just automatically like that would be amazing uh that that would and drones uh if, if somebody fires drones at you they just basically auto shoot at them uh so that we don't even have to worry about that stuff uh it would it would make it that would be off awesome. that's a lot of stuff team uh assuming store collection of valuable minerals does seem like an original purpose perhaps some precious say i to gather their findings here uh never able to return oh wow so we can just keep doing that and as long as as long as we don't as as long as our points are high enough we just we just there's lots of lots of storerooms on this place <laughs> as long as we don't hurt anybody Oh, that hurt finally. <laughs> the sad part is, is the uh, <laughs> we get uh, iridium when when they got they got injured, and iridium is more more useful to us. <laughs> the, the iridium helps us build armor. Oh, all right. We're a little bit over. We're going to go check. The, I think this is the one that we keep trying to fix the, uh, uh, I think it's the air scrubber that, that we're trying to fix. We keep needing, uh, the people to be, be, uh, to get a good roll on it. So we'll go do that real quick. So anyway, uh, as always, if you have a request, uh, if you, if you have another weapon, uh, that being the missiles, the uh, the direct fire, uh, missiles direct fire, the plasma, is that all? Oh, and the Havoc system. Uh, if you want to see one of those uh, featured in a video, or if uh, what I may do is just do all of them in a video, uh, let me know, uh, and we'll kind of look at the different weapons, and I'm comparing contrast and see how things work. Single communication tower. Oh.
Uh, let's see. One usual point is that there is no more redundancy circuit. Doesn't need to match the primary. Replace it. Tower comes to life. Charged by the remaining energy is batteries transmits a repeating message to the sky for a few minutes after several repetitions. There's a showers of sparks and some key components give out. Okay. Uh oh. So that flinger gate just moved someplace. Uh it's a new place. I I changed I changed the, the flinger to, to take me someplace new. Was it a good place to go? Uh that remains to be seen. An enormous cruiser has been sitting on the surface of the temperate world for some time, judging by the trees and plants growing on its hull. Surprisingly, it's not a derelict like energy signature normal and number of systems are powered. The team approaches a group of scaly bipeds come towards their position. Lengthy dialogue, the lieutenant explains that the vessel is one of many groups that refugees flee the post uh, empire conflicts. They were lucky to have the engineering skills to uh, redirect a nearby flinger temporarily and reach the remote system. Uh, they are not concerned with the flinger directed. It is only a matter of time before the Okan, Devout, or other seas there of us. Uh, we would offer you the gold from our defunct engines and let you examine our ship systems if you would promise to uh, redirect the flinger back away from our refuge. Sure. I, I, I would have redirected it anyway. You didn't have to give me your stuff. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be... Uh, I, I don't know how to redirect it. I guess we'll figure it out. Ordinary looking moon has or, uh, extraordinary amounts of uh, titanium collected from citrus and meteor deposits. One more uh, travel location surely would have uh, been cleared by now. All right. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, it, it's going to have me go back. Back to that planet. So we, we cleared that stuff out. Uh, I don't see anything else around me. But if if I need to, I can just travel to that star. I can just fly out to it. <laughs> Build a promise to the refugees. Uh, minus one star light. That's fine. Flinger is re uh, reoriented towards the uh, original destination. Felt guilty if it apparently led to some of their location. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want if they want to hide out there and be be safe. Like they they can always come out. Uh, I would have been like, hey, dude, we're over here. You know, if you want to come be friends, like that's cool. Um, we'll we'll help protect you. Uh, here's our radio frequencies. If you need help, come, you know, give us a call. Um, if they show up, you know, we'll, we'll come back and, and uh, have a chat with them. All right, I'm going to go through here real quick, see if there's anything else. Um, debris filled. I'm not seeing anything. I think the only other... Uh, me. Oh, there's one. What's this? Uh, lunar unscathed. Oh, that's the ring world. Let's go look at the ring world real quick. Because I picked up a couple extra things. We'll go ahead and travel there. Uh, we'll go look at the ring world. Uh, and then, then we'll call it a day. Uh, yeah, we're at 40 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, I'm just going to keep pushing through, uh, try to finish the fight, uh, and uh, just kind of to see what all is in the, the game right now. Um, I, I like visiting the ring world. The ring world is, is a cool, a cool looking thing. Uh, it's, I, I'm, I'm impressed with it. I, it, it obviously looks a lot like Halo and, and stuff like that, but the, uh, it's a, uh, it, it's a cool world. It's a neat little, neat little building. And I've never, 
I don't think the stuff to open it has been in or I haven't found it yet. I'm just going to kind of bounce through. Maybe I'll go through a little bit today and just kind of kind of run into some stuff and see if I can figure out anything new and in investigation. Yeah, so we got to figure out where we're trying to go. So with that, we'll leave on the ring world. Uh, if y'all have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. Uh, like, you know, subscribe, do all that stuff. It's all helpful. Uh, and with that, we will talk to you guys next time.